Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about how to wire an external potentiometer to your PowerFlex 525 drive. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And any questions that come up, feel free to ask them in the comments. Your question this week could easily be next week's automation topic. So our trainer is still set up from the last video. It is wired for three wire control using button one as a start, button two as a stop and switch to, to reverse direction. Now, if yours isn't doing that, that's not a big deal. We're mainly gonna be talking about the potentiometer here, but you'll need to have at least enough wiring done to get your drive running. And we're gonna slide the cover off here, and we're gonna connect wires to terminals 12, 13, and 14. 12 is our plus 10 volt DC. 14 is the analog common and 13 is the analog input so when you're done or well let's get these let's ignore these wires mainly we're going to have wires connected to 12 13 and 14 and these are from previous examples now we're going to connect terminal 12 to the left terminal of our potentiometer 13 to the middle terminal of our potentiometer and 14 to the right terminal of our potentiometer now, before we flip this around, let's talk about what's going on with this potentiometer. So this is a 10K potentiometer. And that means if you turn it all the way one direction, it's going to have a resistance of 10K. And if you turn it all the way the other direction, it's going to have zero resistance. The middle one sweeps across that resistor. And depending on the position you have the switch, it's going to have a different voltage. So if we take our voltmeter and have it on DC volts, at least 10, I've got it on 20, and I put it across the potentiometer or the left and right terminal, I've got 10 volt across it. And if I take one of my leads and touch it to the middle one, right now I'm showing five volt. I must be near halfway. Yeah, I'm sitting right at the 12 o'clock position. And if I turn it one way, it's going to go down. If I turn it the other way, it's going to go up. So that's what it's doing is it's varying that voltage to that drive speed analog input. We do need to change one parameter in our PowerFlex drive, and that's going to be parameter P047, and that is our speed reference. And by default, it's up here on this built-in potentiometer. So we're going to hit the escape key until we see the B flashing. And we'll press the up key to get to P and we'll hit enter. And then we're going to go up to 47 and it defaults to one. And we want to put that up on five. And one thing, if you're not sure what these are, if you just sit here a second, it says five, zero to 10 volt input. So they have a nice scrolling feature that kind of gives you a quick description to make sure that you're on what you want. And that is what we want is zero to 10 volt. And we'll hit OK. And now we'll escape back out. And let's start our potentiometers at about the 12 o'clock position. So let's start there. Now, one thing I have to apologize already on this video is this fan is right by my mic. So it's going to be like roaring really bad. In fact, I'll, I'll try to remember to be right here. Maybe that'll cancel a lot of it out. But we're going to press the start button. And our fan is coming up. And we're stopping about 33 hertz. Now, we'll see how much you actually followed what I did. Because if you did it the way I said to do it, as you turn it clockwise, it's going to slow down. As you turn it counterclockwise, it's going to speed up. Now, a lot of you probably thinking, well, wait, Tim, that seems really backwards. I mean, I usually, I know at least in my car, I turn the radio clockwise to turn it up. And you're right, you do. But I wanted to do that mainly so I can show you, if you have that problem, how you can fix it. So let's flip our trainer back around. And to reverse that, all we're going to do is swap these outside wires. So the wire that's on the left side, we're going to move to the right side and the wire that's on the right side, we're gonna to move to the left side and we're gonna leave that center one alone. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna reverse the way it sweeps across that resistor. So now we'll press the start button 
And our drive's running at about 30 hertz. And if we turn it counterclockwise, it's gonna go down. And turn it clockwise, it's gonna go up. So there's how you can add an external potentiometer to your PowerFlex drive. Hope this video has been helpful. Please hit that like button. And we're going through a great series right now on PowerFlex drives. So if you like these, hit that subscribe also. Till next time. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.